Hi, I'm Michael from an Awfully Big Adventure. My girlfriend Joss is kind of over behind there in bed, not feeling too well. Kind of watching a lot of Disney vlogs, to be honest. And here is our quick Q&A for It's a Vlogger's World. kind of in this cool little dinosaur uh, New York Times notebook that we just bought today. So I'll be giving you some of my feedback and some of her feedback, so it's going to be a mixture of both. So question one, when did you start your channel? Now I had to look this up because I couldn't remember when I started it. I actually started it on the 17th of February last year, so 2016, so it's almost at the time of this video, I think it's like 12 days away, it will be a year old. So. Maybe there'll be a quick highlight video for that, I don't know, or maybe there might be an announcement video on 17th of February. Right, question two asks, what camera do you use? Now, I can't honestly remember my camera, so I'm going to pass you looking at it. I know it's a Panasonic Lumix, it has a flip screen upwards. Um, I'll put the model name like here somewhere, because I can't honestly remember. Um, I got it off Amazon, I can tell you that, and I also have a small little... Um, we have a fake GoPro camera that I got in a local supermarket for just under £30 and it came with like the waterproof case and stuff. I did use that over the time, but I cracked the cracked the lens on the front of the waterproof case and I had to buy one recently. So a couple of our videos coming up in our Disney World vlog are going to have kind of blurry view where I kind of cracked the case and didn't realise until halfway through our trip. So sorry about that. Question three is, what is your highlight of 2016? Now, looking through it, and we both put the same thing, uh, was going to Disney World. We stayed at Pop Century. We, neither of us had ever stayed on site before, so that was really cool, getting to go to the parks a lot earlier. And it was our first trip, sort of, well, Chelsea's only ever come with me and my family. It was our first trip on our own. We'd been on sort of a little trip to like Iceland before, but it was our first big proper trip holiday on our own which was super cool because we got to do sort of whatever we want, we could get up when we want, go on whatever rides we want and not have to worry about other people so that was really awesome and we're hoping to have some more trips again this year again, announcement might be coming up in here, here. Question number four, your top five parks, now these are numbered one to five on here, they're kind of how I would number it but I'd, as she's written them but I'm not sure if these are in order, one to five, you know what I mean? So I think they are. So in number five, we have Animal Kingdom, which is having its new cool Pandora update. So hopefully if we go back maybe next year, a couple of years time, we'll get to see all these updates. Uh, number four, we kind of put Universal together because it's mostly the Harry Potter stuff we go to and that, we do it mostly in one day, but on its own. I know that's across two parks, but it kind of almost is a park in itself. So I'd say sort of Harry Potter is on its joint as number four. Uh, number three, Hollywood Studios. A lot of things there. Star Tours, uh, the Butte and the Beast live stage show, which I know someone over there really likes. Oh god. And there's Hollywood Tower. Oh, hotel. Oh, oh god, Tower. Oh, oh. There are three certain rides that I have not been on. They are Space Mountain. Big Thunder Mountain Railroad and Hollywood Tower of Terror. And I'm scared out of my life. Help me. Oh, this is getting way too real. My heart is pounding. Oh, God. I really don't like this. Oh, Jesus. God, that was scary. I mean, like, bucket list tick, yeah, but Jesus Christ. What was that? Oh, okay, right. Uh, number two, Epcot. I think that one's fairly obvious. Epcot is just amazing. Go touring around the world, all the different rides there. And number one, and I think should be everybody's number one, is Magic Kingdom at Disney World. I mean, who doesn't love Magic Kingdom? You castle all the rides, just everything's there. Right, question five. 
our top five favorite rides at any of the parks. So these aren't definitely aren't in order because we couldn't decide. So they're kind of in a mixture of random orders. But number one, we have Buzz Lightyear, Space Ranger Spin. Just saying, uh, Galactic Hero, two years in a row. Represent anybody out there? No, just me, just me. Cool. Uh, number two is the Three Caballeros. I know that one's just for me because. Me and my brother both love that ride. I've spoken about it in a previous video, but I think Chelsea started to fall in love with it as well. There's nothing, nothing special, but it's there's just literally never any wait for that ride unless it's raining and people go inside the Mexico Pavilion. Usually, you can just walk straight on, and it's Donald Duck. Who doesn't love Donald Duck? Uh, number three, Seven Dwarfs Mine Train. I mean, it's just a great ride. It's quite a new ride, um, and I know when you are um, not Fast Pass. What's the word I'm looking for? Photo Pass. Uh, the slow motion video is, is really cool, so all the sort of little features is really cool on that ride. Uh, number four, this is definitely written by Chelsea's Peter Pan's Flight, which usually has a ridiculously long wait at Magic Kingdom. And it, uh, I don't want to say it's not the greatest ride, because it it's a good ride, it's just not like, you wait like that long for big like rides, and it's, it's a good ride, I mean it is what it is. Fast Pass, I think, is definitely needed on that. I mean, you do miss sort of fun things in the queue. We went there once this year. I don't think it's come out in the vlogs yet. We went at night. I don't think I recorded that. I think we went to the vlogs sort of after 8 p.m. ish, and we went to queue up and we queued for half an hour and went through and just so we could go through and see all the stuff in the line because you don't see it in the Fast Pass line. They got all things where it sprinkles pixie dust over you. You can play with your like shadows, silhouettes on the wall. So yeah, that, I think the queue is also really good in that ride and number five is at Hogwarts is Harry Potter and the Forbidden Journey I mean if you've never been on that ride it's like as soon as you get to that park just go straight to that ride it always has a long queue because it's such a good ride you walk through the castle you see like moving paintings up on the wall you see all sort of different things from the stories of Harry Potter and then you go off on this like crazy adventure in a sort of moving arm roller coaster thing it's just it's just awesome, you've got, you've got to do it. It's the first thing we do at the park every single time we go. Right, question six. It's kind of hard for both of us because it's top five favorite restaurants. Now, there are some amazing restaurants at the parks, especially in Florida, which is the only place we've been. And we can't eat in a lot of them being vegetarian. So the top five I've got here are because either they're just really well themed or they do actually decent vegetarian food that you can't find in a lot of the other restaurants. You'll see in a lot of my videos recently, most notably at Universal, I was really mean about all the Universal restaurants. We spent like two hours one day walking around just trying to find a restaurant that didn't just do a cheese pizza and that was the only vegetarian option. So going through these, number one is mostly for theming. It is Be Our Guest, who do an amazing onion soup by the way. And breakfast is pretty cool there too. I mean, who doesn't love the Beast Castle and all the theming around it? It's just an amazing place to be. Uh, number two is actually, actually at Universal. It's Springfield, USA. It's a Krusty Burger. They do a really nice, I've got to remember the name of it, Mother Nature Burger. It's just, it, it's not nothing amazing about the actual sort of patty itself. It's just a vegetarian burger, but it has all that avocado and stuff. It's, it's just nice. And it also comes with a, you can buy the Buzz Cola at a Krusty Burger, which is sort of um, Coke Zero with some cherry in it, so it's kind of like a cherry cola, but a Coke Zero cherry cola, if that makes sense. And the theming there is obviously awesome, it's all based around different links to The Simpsons, that's a really cool place to go. Um, number three is Sunshine Seasons. Sunshine, she sells seashells much. Sunshine Seasons at Epcot, because they usually do, last couple of times we've been, it's changed both times, but they were both really good. Um, really nice vegetarian dishes, they always have one, at least one. And it's with sort of like a meat alternative in it's not just vegetables or it's not just a cheese pizza it actually have like kind of like we have like tofu and corn in the uk it's kind of they've kind of got their own like meat free thing i think they call it like chicken but without the e at the end so it's like chick sort of comma n not comma apostrophe n um but yeah that's that's really nice and they usually do some really nice ones if i can find a picture i'll put one here because i've noticed recently in one of our videos and number four, now these are meant to be top five restaurants in the parks, but number four we kind of had to put uh, as Deluxe Burger at Disney Springs. Um, it's just a really nice place, it's, it's quite new obviously with the new Disney Springs um, in the new area, but they do some really nice, just really nice veggie burgers, 
really nice fries and a, just a really nice selection of drinks and it's just, oh, it just seems quite calm there it's right by the you can sit outside on the porch where we sat a couple of times by the sort of little lake and sort of fountains in it and that was it was just such a calm peaceful thing to do on an evening if you had any if you had a day at the park it's so peaceful to rest there it was such a nice we did it on our first full day and it was just made it, you felt vacation straight away it was amazing and the very last one which we only went to for the first time in 2016 is Via Napoli which is just oh my god the pizzas are amazing like everyone talks about it and I thought okay no it's not gonna be that great it's amazing the pizzas are amazing please go there if you ever have a chance it can be quite pricey depending on what you get but we shared a pizza that was I mean it was like big and we managed to eat the whole thing and I think I watched Chelsea eat more than I've ever watched her eat before at Via Napoli because it was just so good, it was just so amazing, you just had to eat all of it. Right, question seven. Now, I haven't got my phone at the moment, which has all the questions on it because Chelsea's got it, she's watching videos. But I remember this being something in the lines of what ride or attraction are you most looking forward to this year in 2017? Now, I'm going to tell you the name of the ride Oh, I'm going to tell you what film it's linked to, but I'm not going to tell you where it is because I kind of want you to work that out yourself because it may be something to do with where we may or may not be going at some point this year. But the ride or attraction we are most looking forward to this year, and it's not a new one, but it is based on Ratatouille. So make of that what you will. Uh, right, question number eight. Again, this is... I'm, I haven't got the actual written question, but if you would have a new themed ride at any of the parks, what would the theme be and what park would you have it of? Have it of? Have it, wait, what? And what park would you have it at? My English is not very good today. Right, so Chelsea has gone with, and I could have predicted this before I read it, is Beauty and the Beast, so a Beauty and the Beast themed ride at the Magic Kingdom. And it's a ride through the Beast's Castle. So I presume she means somewhere near Be Our Guest. And you'd kind of go off to the side, maybe behind Seven Doors Mine Train, that kind of area. That would be cool if you go through it. That would be some really cool stuff. Go through like a snowy area, go through the Beast's Castle, see him fighting Gaston, go through the town and hear them all singing at Bell. There could be some cool like animatronics there. That would be pretty cool. And um, what would I go with? Hmm, what film? I have a couple that I thought about. I think a Big Hero 6 one would be really cool. I think maybe maybe at Epcot would that would I mean that would work at Epcot being like the future or there or in Magic Kingdom. Sort of near Buzz Lightyear, that kind of area. I think that would work quite well. Or the other one I thought, and this may be a bit risky for me to say because I don't know how much people love this ride. I think if you changed Figment's journey into the imagination and made that an inside out themed ride and you go through like each of the different kind of emotions I think that would be really cool. Obviously that would be quite a big ride and like kind of like Nemo and Friends is for like it's meant to advertise it for the smaller children whereas Figment is kind of yeah it's for the parks it's not really been in a film unless they end up making a film based on it but I think Inside Out would bring in a lot more guests to a kind of area of the park that isn't really used much at Epcot. I mean I love Figment's Journey to Imagination but it's not, it's never full, there's never a massive queue. I know they use it a lot on like uh, annual pass holder t-shirts and stuff Figment because it is a park thing it's not a film thing but I think that would be really cool as an Inside Out themed ride. Uh, number nine, any vloggers that we think you should be watching? Now I've been giving a list here so there was four that we both really started watching together at first before I made this channel and I'll go through those quickly. So they are Tim Tracker and Jen Tracker, obviously the trackers there that do amazing like daily vlogs all around Florida, they live there, very jealous. Uh, Crispy Small, a couple from the UK, Dave and Steph, they're really awesome. They do really cool videos and it's, they're uh, kind of one of the inspirations that made me do this channel because I was like, I want to be able to watch back and remember what I did in Florida or what I've done on trips with Chelsea and I thought this was just the easiest way of doing it. It'd be nice to show like family, like look this is what we did without having to, to show a load of pictures, I can actually show them what we did. Uh, see you real soon, I mean who doesn't love see you real soon, fortunately they stopped but I mean they stopped because they're having a baby so you can't really complain about that, I mean that's something I'd love to happen 
in the future, so RIP my channel before it happens. Um, but yeah, their baby has just been born. They, I say just been born, I think it was born a couple weeks ago, but they just posted a picture on Instagram in this last week, which Chelsea sent to me, I was at work, and I opened it up in the middle of like lessons I was teaching, and I was like, oh my god, it's like the cutest little thing. And it was just like, yeah, so congratulations to them. I, I doubt that I'll watch this, but congratulations to them for the baby they just had. And the last one that Chelsea's written down is Ellie Steppen, who I know she likes watching. She does a lot of videos at Disney World, Disneyland Paris, and I think she's just about to work at Disney World as one of the cast members at Epcot. So I don't know if that will lead to some cool videos or if she'll take a break, I don't know. Um, there was three I wanted to mention, that are just three that I had to write down very quickly before the video because I only just read the questions properly. Uh, one was Extra Magic Hours. They were kind of the ones that I watched and thought, you know what, I could do this. Not saying that their videos aren't great or anything, but they were the ones that really made me push forward to this. Uh, the Walt Way, because they've been sort of very sort of welcoming to me in the community, liking videos, sharing, subscribing and stuff, that's just been awesome. And ones I've recently just started watching was Leap Year Thing. Uh, they've kind of influenced us on a decision, decision that we are sort of upcoming and have made and again might be happening in the near future. Question 10, what are your plans for 2017? Well, you might have to watch my channel on the 17th of February and the one year anniversary because you might see an announcement or not but you definitely will so I don't know why I said or not anyway thank you to It's a Vloggers World for inviting me I say us but it's me at the moment because she's over there to film this video um links to their things will be all up here so usually It's a Vloggers World or It's a Vloggers World 1 there's probably going to be an Instagram a Twitter and a Facebook, I don't know if they've got a Facebook, this might not say anything, and their YouTube is obviously what I'm on now, so subscribe below, and my links will be there, there, and there, I don't know if I have that many, and they'll be below as well. So yeah, I've been an awfully big adventure, you've been you, Chelsea's been ill over there somewhere, and we will see you next time. Bye! This channel is such a cool way of finding out new vloggers. I'm watching you.